Hello, everyone. Welcome to the City of Peace and Justice. Time and again, I have asked myself, what does uh, peace and justice mean to me? So today, I'm going to talk to you about three experiences uh, of mine that have forged my path, both as an individual and a professional relating to peace and justice. Let me begin by telling you that I come from Cyprus. And Cyprus is a beautiful small island in the Eastern Mediterranean. But apart from being a small island, it's also a divided island. It's been divided since 1974. It has a Greek part in the south and a northern part, which is Turkish. Now, I grew up on this beautiful yet divided island. And um, in 1995, um, I was eight years old, and it was a typical school day evening. I had to go to bed at 8.30 sharp every day. I really didn't like that, not because I wanted to watch cartoons every evening, but because I wanted to watch the news. I was really fascinated by the news. That evening, um, the news started earlier, so I was really excited. Something important was going on on TV. And this was the first time I saw and I learned about the European Court of Human Rights. To me, as an eight-year-old, it looked like a big glass building. It was impressive. Apparently, that evening, the European Court of Human Rights had handed down the Loisidu against Turkey judgment. What it meant to me, it was that this lady that got kicked out of her house in 1974, was so upset that she brought a case to the European Court of Human Rights. Let me take you forward 10 years. I decided to go to law school. Well, I decided to do that because I thought law and justice were one and the same. Apart from wanting to win every single argument ever. So, I was pretty excited to be at law school, and while there, um, I had to write a property law thesis. I dreaded property law, it was so boring. So the, eight, the, the image of my eight years old uh, of the Council of Europe came back to me, and I thought, well, why don't I write something about the Loisidu judgment? So the Loisidu, the Loisidu judgment I found out was about the violation of property rights under not only European law, but also public international law. So that is when I started understanding the role that public international law has for small islands like Cyprus, but also in general, for the promotion of peace and justice. I was entirely fascinated by the topic, so I decided to further my studies in this field. So I decided to, to study public international law in New York, not only because it's an awesome city to live in, but also because it has another very impressive glass building. This time, the United Nations headquarters. So while at Columbia Law School, um, I decided I wanted to do further research in the role of international courts and tribunals in post-conflict societies. Not only Cyprus, but also South Africa and Ireland. So I did that, and um, I... I discovered that the Loisidu judgment and the European Court of Human Rights were just two tiny little pieces of a much, much larger puzzle. Now, I find myself working at another piece of the puzzle, the International Court of Justice, which, incidentally, this month uh, has its 70th anniversary. Day in, day out, I work in the peaceful settlement of disputes, which I hope prevents states from going to war with each other. Now, I ask myself the question again, what does peace and justice mean to me? To me, it's a childhood image that became a university discovery that is now my profession at the Peace Palace. Unfortunately, it's not a glass building. Thank you. Thank you.